All right, back to the story we mentioned off the top of the hour. Governor Cooper taking the podium in Raleigh addressing the latest budget proposal. Let's listen in. While I have a veto that I know would be sustained in the Senate, this is a time when the state must move ahead. Too many important investments in this budget are overdue, particularly with the likelihood that the Republican leadership would respond to a successful veto by walking away from many of the good things that are in it. And right now, we just can't afford that. This budget got many things right. Expanding high-speed internet across the state so that people can access education, telehealth, and work. Funding for our outstanding universities and community colleges, particularly our HBCUs that are educating our workforce. Helping businesses recover from pandemic losses and expanding to create more jobs. Strengthening infrastructure so our growing state has clean, reliable water. The expansion of the land and water and parks and recreation trust funds. Funding to help Western North Carolina recover from Tropical Storm Fred. Helping more people get credentials and degrees by including an extension of my long leaf commitment scholarship program. Raises and bonuses for teachers and other hardworking state employees. Tax relief for everyday North Carolinians, like the child tax deduction. And there is a lot more. Many of these were in my budget and my past budgets that I presented to the legislature. But I'm clear eyed that there are ways we differed in places where the legislature got it wrong. Most obviously, this budget fails to extend health care to hundreds of thousands of people by expanding Medicaid. While a study is some progress, real action remains painfully overdue, and I'll keep fighting for it. And at the same time, the legislature directs future tax breaks more toward corporations and the wealthy rather than the middle class and lower income people. This budget also makes unnecessary and politically motivated missteps that I believe should and will be. Over You've been listening to the governor talk about the state budget and, and we listen, we, we know talks about budgets get a little wonky on TV news and they don't always really translate, but this is a big deal. Since 2017, the state has not passed a new budget. So there have been many projects that have been overlooked because of that. So the fact that, that he has gone along with the Republican General Assembly and agreed on some things, he said at this point the state's got to move ahead, that there's been too many things that have been left out of the budget since 2017. So it looks like we're getting some bipartisan agreement. Um, and it uh, looks like we're going to have a new budget for the first time in four or five years. You're a Flashpoint guy. We know you'll be covering it. We have more information too on our website, WCNC.com, and we'll have an update for you also on our 4 p.m. newscast. But